All right, so we're going to go ahead and create a web page using Sublime Text. Uh, I have Sublime Text uh, open right here. And one of the first things I'm going to do is create a folder and then place that folder inside of Sublime Text. So I'm going to go to Windows Explorer. Um, I have a CPT-162 folder on my USB drive. I'm going to go ahead and create another folder. I'm going to call this Week 1. And then inside week one, I'm going to create another folder, and that folder is going to be images. All right, this is going to be standard for the websites we create. We're going to have a folder that holds our uh, index.html file and all the other HTML files, and our CSS file. And then we're also going to have inside there an images folder that's going to hold all our images. All right, so let's go ahead and place that on into sublime text so one way you can do that is I'm gonna go back and do G there's my 162 folder and what I'm gonna do is move this over a little bit there's sublime text back here I'm just gonna drag this folder and drop it right on top of sublime text okay that's uh, the, I think the best way to do it to ensure that what you're working on is exactly the same folder in the classroom, it happens all the time where students think they're working in one folder and they're working in another one that's similarly named. So now you can look on here. Now that I've placed that folder in, uh, it shows the folder. It shows there's week. Oh, I didn't want to put 162. All right, let's uh, let's back up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and re ah, this is a good thing. I'm going to remove this from my project. And then go back to Windows Explorer. All right, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't want to put the 162 folder on there. I want to put what week one. All right, so week 162 is going to hold all my different weeks. So I'm going to drag and drop that. But now you know how to remove a, f um, a project. So there's a learning moment. All right, and if we go back to Sublime Text. We can see now we have week one. That's how I knew I made a mistake. I didn't want to have 162 with week one in it. I just want to have one week one and then our then our images folder. And of course, there's nothing in our images folder. All right, so the first thing we want to do is create our first two pages. And so I'm going to do file and new. And then I'm going to do file and save. Unfortunately, it doesn't save back to the folder I just created. So I'm going to have to do some Go back to my USB drive, 162, week one, and then we always call our homepage index.html. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and do save. And now inside my week one, I have, whoops, uh, it. how did it end up in my images folder? That was not right. Oh, there's index right there. It's not in my images folder. <clears throat> All right, you think I've done this for before. All right, so there's index. It has images and then indexes inside that. All right, the next thing I want to do is create my CSS file. So I'm going to do file and new file, then file and save. This one will save inside that week one file so I don't have to worry about that if, if there were other file after I did that first one and it's gonna be called styles.css okay there's nothing magic about the word styles you can name your style sheet whatever you want but styles is consistent with what most people call it so I'm gonna save it and there's my second file now you might notice I copied that file when I went to save it and the reason why I did that is I'm gonna need that file for my next uh, part of that and that is I'm gonna have to put the head onto this uh, index at HTML so I'm gonna type HTML and then hit tab what okay so put all that stuff in there already we have some things that we need to fix though and one of the things we need to fix is we need to tell it what language we're using on the page and we do that within the HTML tag so we're going to use the language property, and as soon as I type L, you'll see Lang comes up. And then this is going to be EN for English. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is inside my head, 
I'm going to tell it what character set I'm going to be using. So we're going to be using Unicode 8, and we do that by typing in meta, just that, no tags, and then tab, and it puts in the rest for me. I don't have to worry about it. And, and title, I'm just going to put a placeholder. This is my first page. And then after this, I'm going to have another meta tag. Now, I can't do meta and then press tab, or it's going to put in the same one I did before. So this one I'm going to use tags. I'm going to say meta. And, whoops, I'm going to add a name attribute. And that name is going to be description. And then I have another attribute I want to do, and that is content. And this describes the page. I'm going to do this on every page because every page needs a description, and that's part of our um, search engine optimization. It must have a title and must have a description. We haven't done anything much, so there's really not much to describe. Okay, the last tag I'm going to put in my head is going to allow me to tie this HTML structure page with my CSS styles page. So I'm going to type the keyword link and then press tab. And so I'm actually put all this in there and then I'm going to paste in my styles.css. I like to copy and paste it when I save it to make sure that this is the same because if this is a capital S, it's not going to see it. The other thing we need to do is get rid of this. We don't need to have type equals text CSS. Doesn't hurt anything having it there, but um, the newest HTML5 standard says you don't need that, so we're going to take it out. All right, so pretty good so far. So now we're going to go ahead and add some other information that we're going to be using, and that is we're going to be doing this using semantic type HTML. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my header. So I'm just going to type header, but this header is going to have a class of start box. So I'm going to use dot start underscore box, and when I press tab, it automatically places that header and it puts places the class in. So it just saves me. Anytime I'm using autocomplete, I'm saving myself, besides typing, um, of me making a mistake and putting bad syntax in. All right, so we have something inside that H1, so I'm going to press Enter. I have an H1, and then I'm, whoops, then I'm going to press Tab. And that puts the start and the stop tags in, and this is just going to be main title. All right, I'm going to have to do this in a couple of videos because I'm already up to eight minutes. All right, All right the next thing, whoops, what happened to my close tag? Disconcerning. All right, so that's that's there. I must have accidentally deleted it. All right, the next thing we have is our nav section. So I'm going to type nav dart dot start underscore box, and then press tab, and that's my nav section. This nav section is going to have an unordered list. So I'm going to type ul, and then tab. Sometimes it doesn't work for some reason, so I just move up and hit tab again. And then inside that UL, I'm going to have all my L, my list items. So I'm going to type LI, tab. Uh, but I'm going to make this easier, and I'm going to go ahead and put hyperlinks in. So I'm also going to type inside the LI, A, and then tab. Inside this, I'm going to put a hashtag, and that's just a placeholder. And then this is going to be home. All right, so let's do that again. LI, tab, A, tab, hashtag, and the next thing we're going to do is about. So I can do this about as fast as I can copy and paste all the different tags. So li tab a tab hash, and then move over here, and faq, whoops, and then one last one, li tab a tab hash, whoops, hash, and then move over, and this is my last one, and it'll be contact. So the basic pages that we normally see on a page. All right, and 
I think we're going to do a couple more. So let's just go ahead and finish it up. I'm also going to have a section with a um, dot start under whoops underscore box, and this is going to be I forget what I put in there now. So let's just put an H1. Oops, come on now. Tab, um, section, area. And then we're going to go ahead and put in an aside. And in there, I'm just going to put H1 and aside, area. And the last thing we're going to have is a footer. And I'm going to just put in there H1, footer, whoops, footer, footer area. Okay. So we haven't done any styling. So I'm just going to go ahead and do file and save. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Chrome. All right, so I'm going to go back to my file. So here's my files here. I'm going to right mouse click on index and tell to open with Google Chrome. All right, and this is what it looks like right now. So there's nothing much here but a bunch of text. Oh, I misspelled aside, so I have to go back and fix that. All right, that's in the end of video one.